Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here. I am editing currently and realized I don't have an intro, so hi, welcome. This is the intro to the video. Today, my registered dietitian, Erin, is reviewing what ate in a day. So she is going to watch and see what ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the full day and give her a reaction, give her thoughts, her opinions, some hot takes. It's a good one, so stick around for it. I'm gonna let her introduce herself first, but I will link our first video that we did like this down below for you, along with her website, Instagram, any info that you'll need for her. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and let her introduce herself right now. Hey guys, I am Erin. I am a registered dietitian and I own the Celiac Space where we work with individuals with all different kinds of health conditions from celiac disease, following a gluten free diet to weight loss, to weight management, to getting their gut health um, a little bit better. So we have a different range um, of things we work on with clients based on their needs and the dietitian that we partner them with. Um, but I've had the privilege to work with Lauren for the last many months um, and she is wonderful, which is why you guys are on her page. Um, but today we're gonna do a review of what she eats in the day. I'm gonna give you my recommendations. Um, and this is for her specifically based on the goals that we're working on, the things that we have talked about um, during our sessions. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, I'm about to cook up some breakfast. I'm still trying to get through these freaking peppers. So I'm gonna cook up some of those. I have leftover potatoes from a dinner. I know they don't look that awesome, but I'm gonna chop them up, do a little pepper and potato. I'm gonna do a couple sunny side eggs and that is gonna be breakfast for this morning. All right, y'all, so as she's chopping, I'll, I'll comment on this a little bit. Number one, I love that she's having veggies for breakfast. Veggies are probably the hardest or breakfast is probably the hardest meal to get veggies in. I will say the vast majority of individuals, this probably means you, is under eating their vegetables. And getting them at lunch and dinner is somewhat easy. Breakfast is probably the most challenging. Omelets are a great way to get your veggies in. I personally like to sneak cauliflower rice, my oatmeal. That is my jam. Um, but this is wonderful. She's cutting up her veggies. If you're like, I gotta get going in the morning, I'm a quick person. Um, frozen veggies were great in omelets doing like a big frittata in the beginning of the week is awesome. Um, she is using leftovers, which is great. Leftovers from dinner can go in an omelet, can go in a breakfast hash. And what she's using here is those potatoes. Let's say you made those for dinner like three nights ago and you're like, I don't want potatoes for the rest of the week. Freeze them. Don't be afraid to freeze any everything. Um, everything and anything. So for her, what I would say is if she has leftovers of anything, healthy that's working for her, freeze it. Um, Cause that'll make it a lot easier. She's a busy lady. And so that's kind of what we've always been talking about is ways to cut corners while still being healthy. You don't have to like create everything from scratch and reinvent the wheel. I am the queen of quick, easy cooking. So don't be afraid to do that for yourself. This is what's working for her. But if she's like, I need something quicker, frozen veggies, leftovers like thrown into the omelet, old frozen meals from old leftovers, use all those things as well. All right, so here she's using two eggs. If you know that you're gonna go a long period of time between lunch and or breakfast and lunch, you're not gonna get a snack, whatever, you want something a little bit more filling and satisfying, I would bulk up the protein here. Um, you could add egg whites, you could add some like breakfast sausage in there as well. Um, I know Lauren has snacks during the day, but if you're an individual that's like busy on the go, always bulk up the protein in your breakfast. And, um, protein in breakfast is gonna be helpful. Okay, as always, gonna add some Cholula. On my second cup of coffee with this oat milk creamer, a couple of tablespoons of that with also a dash of oat milk. So that is breakfast and probably also gonna make a water. I got a comment on the coffee. Okay, so love this oat milk. Um, what I always tell my clients is I don't mess with your coffee order or like your drink option. So many people online and so many people are afraid that the dietitian that they work with is gonna take away their coffee, take away their heavy creamer, whatever. 
And what you, what I have to talk to my clients about, what I, what I have to say in this conversation I had with Lauren is, what are you missing out on, right? So if you were to just drink black coffee, how much joy are you missing out from like not having your heavy cream or your fancy cream or whatever it is, right? If there's other ways in your diet that wouldn't be as much of a sacrifice for you to maybe cut calories, if that's the appropriate thing to do, then do that instead. It doesn't always have to start with your coffee. Knowing that so much joy from a, for a lot of people, myself included, comes from their coffee and their coffee order. So if you can keep that the same, we always try and do that. Um, so don't, if you're sitting at home watching this drinking black coffee and you're like, this sucks, put a cream in your coffee, make your coffee however you want. Um, find other ways in your diet that isn't as much of an impact for you to kind of adjust it that way. All right, y'all, I'm about to make a smoothie. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so this is kind of like small lunch for the day. Just gonna have probably a big dinner. Um, I've just been craving a smoothie. So I have a little bit of ice here in my cup. Um, I'm going, I don't have any greens, so I'm gonna use the green superfood. You can find this at Target, Amazon. Um, two full servings of fruits and vegetables. And you just do one scoop of that. Um, I am gonna add some protein powder, don't really recommend this one specifically just what morgan has but it's not the worst um and i'm going to use a strawberry and bananas and i might add an extra half banana these are just frozen bananas that i keep on hand once they kind of go bad and that's it oh and oat milk as the liquid So there's still maybe like one more half a mason jar's worth, but it tastes amazing. Get my smoothie straw. Delicious. All right, so there's my thoughts with this. I hope that she ate a snack because going from breakfast to lunch without having anything to eat is one, gonna make you hangry, that's not fun. Number two, it's gonna cause blood sugars to be kind of wonkety and have energy be a little bit low. Um, and knowing her needs for calories for the day, it's gonna be, she needs more calories, right? So oftentimes we restrict too much, we cut back on our calories too much, um, and it can be more harmful than beneficial. So for her, Lauren, I hope you had a snack in between this. Um, but with this smoothie, number one, I love that she's putting protein powder in there. Full scoop always, y'all as a, a one full serving ideally um you want in your pro in your protein shake or whatever there to be about 20 grams of protein so don't skip out on that don't just do a little spoonful or whatever use the scooper um the green powder here's my thing doesn't hurt put it in there if you want it's not vegetables it's not fruit um I, it has nutrients in it it's similar to a multivitamin but a multivitamin is not the same as eating your fruits and vegetables so, um, she had vegetables for breakfast, perfect. Initial of veggies for dinner, probably great. Um, so, you know, she probably doesn't need this green powder in there, right? It's kind of a waste of money in that case. Um, if she did want to get more veggies in here, my go-to, don't knock it till you try it, is frozen cauliflower in your smoothie. I put it in my smoothies and flavor my smoothies like coffee. You don't taste it. As long as this, the cauliflower was frozen from the beginning, like you didn't buy it and then freeze it, it was frozen when you bought it, um, it really doesn't have a taste. Blend it up in there. The reason is, and why that's different than this powder, is it has fiber, it has a little bit more of, of the nutrients in there, um, and the fiber is what's really important. You could also do it with zucchini. Zucchini doesn't have much of a taste as long as it was frozen first. That would be another thing that you could try. Or don't do any veggies in your smoothie. It doesn't have to be veggies in there, as long as you're able to get veggies in for the rest of the day. Um, and then I love that she did highlight the leftover bananas. Again, freeze everything. Make it easy on yourself, save money, all for that too. All right, y'all, I'm about to cook dinner and we have so much leftovers. Like, can you see? This is a huge container filled. So we've got vegetables under here. There's steak, this like delicious filet. And um, there's also chicken somewhere. 
my like proteins went in first. So there's a ton of stuff and I'm gonna heat up some of that with the rice and I'm gonna also bulk it. So I'm gonna try to stretch this for a few meals, uh, maybe take some for lunch tomorrow, but I'm gonna cook up some of the Trader Joe's rice cauliflower stir fry, bump up the veg and um, just kind of stretch this meal as much as I can. I'm also going to add a little bit of soy sauce because truly I do think the rice needs it. So that's the plan. All right, she would have done exactly what I would have done in this meal. Number one, stretch it out a little bit more. Um, or I would have eaten like the whatever portion I wanted of it and then freeze the rest. So like three weeks down the road, I can be like, I get leftovers from Chinese food from two nights ago. Um, so that's what I would have done in, in this case. I added more sauce, like she did the soy sauce. It looked a little dry, looked like a little needed something. But I also love that she's adding veggies in there. So you'll hear me harp on veggies all the time. She's a pro, she knows you by now. Just go for the frozen veggies, it's so much easier. Um, and Trader Joe's has great frozen veggies. So does like Kroger and H-E-B. But um, with this and with really any meal, you almost wanna aim for like, I say 30, 30, 30, and this depends a little bit on your goals. It might change a little bit with more and it's changed throughout her different seasons of dieting, reverse dieting and that sort of thing. Um, but 30, 30, 30 carbs, protein, vegetables. So looking at this, it's a little bit hard to tell because like her protein's at the bottom of the to-go plate that she's showed. Um, but adding it about in more veggies will help her get that ratio um, a little bit better. But this is like a perfect meal. I love it. You're killing it, Lauren. Okay, so here we are. I've got probably about a full cup of the cauliflower rice. I freaking love that stuff from Trader Joe's. It is so well seasoned. Um, steak, chicken, lots of veggies in here. And it's just kind of mixed in with maybe about a half cup of the restaurant rice. So have that. You can see there's still a ton of leftovers. There's a little bit left in the skillet as well. So this is going to be dinner. Don't really know how I'm going to accurately track this. So I might just let it fly, but it looks amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, dinner. And then I forgot to say I'm also having a carbonated water. So you can see here, she did that 30, 30, 30. It's a little bit hard to tell because everything's all mixed together. It doesn't have to be the perfect, like my plate or like beautiful thing. Just think to yourself, is about half or a third of its vegetables, is about a half a protein source, meat, eggs, something along those lines, and is about a, a third of it, um, your starch, rice, potatoes, bread, that sort of thing. Killed it, I taught her well, what can I say? All right, love it. So she did so great on this day. Um, overall, what I would say is I would have probably added a snack between breakfast and lunch, knowing her lunch was a little bit light and her breakfast um, was no was normal, but I, I think you know she put a benefit for having more calories in there. Knowing that you don't always wanna underdo on calories, right? Cutting, cutting, cutting back on calories can do more harm than good. That's when we started together, right? She was eating way too little. If you look back to our reverse dieting videos together, we've been able to increase our intake. We wanna make sure that we maintain somewhat of that high intake as we kind of go into this next season of, of dieting and stuff for her. Um, but otherwise, I love it. She did great. She's doing a lot better at getting her veggies in, right? Um, at, keeping, at keeping cooking simple, it doesn't have to be complicated. That can often be really overwhelming for people and mean that there's like, screw it, I'm just gonna go out to eat. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, so I love it. She's getting a good balance of like whole foods, but fun stuff in there too. It's working for her and I love it. So awesome job, Lauren. I'm excited to just, you know, keep honing in on things and, and work through this journey. Um, with everybody, it's kind of a cycle of things. So if you are somebody that is struggling with weight management, gut health issues, any of those things, we are here to help you. Um, and so Lauren will kind of put a link of what it looks like to work with one of us in the bio. But we'll see you guys next video. Bye.